because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Spencer Oliver, what a fight we've just witnessed. Yeah, what a fight. Not a massive shock, though, I've got to tell you that. Not a massive shock. You see, Zhang, you know, proved his credentials last time out against Philip Hergovic, a fight that many felt, including myself, I was at ringside that night, felt that he, he won that fight, do you know what I mean, against Hergovic. But he showed that he's heavy handed, he's a southpaw, and he's got exceptionally quick hands for a guy of his size as well, 19 stone 12, do you know what I mean? Very quick hands. And he established his jab early, started landing that left cross through the middle, hurt Joyce in the first round. Joyce done well to recover from that. And Joyce, to his credit, was trying to fight down his gum shield, trying to pull it back. But Zilli Zhang had the answer. He, he had a measure of him all the time. He was getting the right hooks over the top. I'll be leaving in a minute. Right hooks over the top. He was coming with those left hands through the middle. Good performance by Zhang. Does Joe Joyce go into the immediate rematch? Maybe not. I'd probably go and look to go and rebuild somewhere else because stylistically that was a nightmare for Joe Joyce tonight. But just a word on Joe because he proved that he was a warrior. He was not going to stop, was warrior. he tonight? He's a warrior, mate. Like, look, look, props to Joe for even taking that fight because when that fight was announced, I was like, really? You're a WBO interim champion. Like, you just come off a great win against Joe Parker. Stylistically, that is all wrong for you, Joe. Why would you do that? And, Speaking to him earlier in the week, I'd done an interview with him um, for Talk Sport, and he was talking about, listen, I just want to fight the best. He was the best name available. I was like, respect where respect's due, mate, because that was a tough fight to take, and it proved a tough night for him, didn't it? But um, I love Joe. I think I respect him a lot, mate, for what he is. He's, you know, he's been brilliant all week, and um, yeah, I was gutted for him that he, he never pulled it off tonight, but... He never went his way right from the opening bell. That was a good performance from Zhang. He just slowly and systematically took Joyce apart there. Has Zhang just announced himself onto the world team with the, the, the likes of your Furies, the likes of your Usyk? Absolutely, but he's, he may become the chairman of the Who Needs Him, Who Wants Him club. Big southpaw, quick hands, heavy hands. You know what I mean? We saw, like I say, like, you know, looking back to Hergovic, no one really knew how good Zhang was before then because he'd never really boxed anyone of any note. Then he... he, he, he he arrived on the scene and he was like, wow, this kid's good. Do you know what I mean? He is good. Now to see what he's done with Joe Joyce there, I wouldn't fight him unless I really had to, mate. Unless they, you know what I mean? And, you know, I, he's in that position now. He's got that mandatory position. He's, he, he's the interim champion. So, Alexander Usyk or someone will have to fight him at some point or vacate the titles unless this competition goes on out in the Middle East, what they've been talking about. If the rumours are true, there's a lot of rumours circulating. If those rumours are true, then Zhang might have to wait on the sideline. He is 39 now. Father time could catch up with him before he gets a shot at the titles. But right now, he's a handful for anyone. Spence, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Quality Please week. Bro. Right, Cheers, as always. First. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.